Hi. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. How are you? I've been playing around with my layouts. I'm, I'm figuring out how to use them. No, I did not mean piano. I I I'm sitting here. I was not going to go live. And then I saw this and I was like, wait a minute. So this is something's not right here. This is such a this is such an odd case and this is very close to where I used to live. So I wanted to chat about it. Are you all available? Okay. <laughs> Barbara said okay. Do you want to come up, Barbara? There you go. And there's the link. So this case is so odd, and and he's on, he hasn't been missing that long. So I'm thinking this is going to be good exposure to put it out there. So maybe somebody's seen him. And there's a couple of screen shares I want to do. Um, I've kind of done a little bit of research here trying to find out what I could about the hi Charlotte well, okay did I is this a good time for you Charlotte in France I was kind of thinking maybe some of my people over there might like this coming on so late <laughs> so let me show you All right, so his name is Stephen Cozy, and I pulled up his LinkedIn, and I'll just share it with you guys really quickly. Um, he's within a he's with a law firm, been there about four years, seven months, and he specializes in bankruptcy and foreclosure. I'm sorry, bankruptcy foreclosure defense. Debt Settlement and Negotiations, Business and Civil Litigation. Um, he went to Stetson University, which is right here in this in that same area where his opt is. Um, four years, seven months he's been there. He was active on LinkedIn just two weeks ago from what I see here. So that's my first thing I wanted to show you guys. So let me go back over here. 6.38. Okay, well, good. I guess that's good, huh? So the next thing I wanted to show you is I pulled up his Facebook. Well, all right, let's watch what, because Jennifer uh, Binkins, she's so good in Florgo. She's awesome. And she did a report on him. Let me just. Pull, put, share this screen so you guys can see this. What does it say? It's not that one. It's W. Um, there it is. Okay. And kind of very early. Well, I'm sorry. Get your coffee or tea or whatever it is that you have. All right. So listen to this, you guys. And let me. Today, speak. I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. Largo police are actually. Vanish circumstance. Erg. Okay, we'll just watch it. Forget it. Watch it. The, whole the details are very unsettling and have workers at several nearby office buildings worried. Consumer investigator Shannon Bankin has been covering an ongoing story involving a case the attorney was working on. She is live in Largo with details. Shannon, what can you tell us? 
Jean Keith, I can tell you that attorney Stephen Causey was supposed to be in a Pasco County courtroom this morning, but Largo police tell me that that didn't happen because he disappeared days ago on Tuesday from work after he left his office to go behind that door to a bathroom. Employees in this office complex on South Belcher Road in Largo are on edge after learning about the extremely disturbing circumstances surrounding the disappearance of attorney Stephen Causey. Police tell me Causey worked here at Blanchard Law. He mainly handled bankruptcy and commercial litigation. Police say he was last seen by employees here on Tuesday morning. Detectives say their investigation into this disappearance is very active, but they declined to provide any further information. I spoke with the managing partner of this firm, Jake Blanchard. He was distraught and said Causey is his best friend and worked with him for five years. He tells me Causey was last seen going into this bathroom outside their office and he never returned to the office, leaving his phone, wallet and car keys on the desk. Multiple employees at this office complex tell me there was blood found in the men's bathroom and oh the of bleach. Largo police spent many hours securing evidence and you can still see fingerprint dusting residue on the doors leading to the men's bathroom. Wow. I'm sitting here talking on mute. I apologize. Isn't, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that crazy? I mean, so this is a shared bathroom. So this is like, I think... The other yeah, there's other tenants in this building and I believe the way it works is is that they all have exterior entrances and then they share this back lobby area which um they all have access to the same you know restroom and so I was pull I pulled it up on um Google Maps and all that and just kind of trying to get a look at it to see what the building layout was and everything and it looks like what it I just find it so is it just me or do y'all think this sounds really like a really strange case? Makes me not want to go to the bathroom in Florida. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, he left his car keys, his cell phone and his wallet on the, on his desk. And he just gets up like, you know, like middle of the day, whatever, go to the bathroom. And then he's disappeared. And then they find blood in the bathroom and they find bleach that cleaned up. Like they think was used to clean up the scene. Isn't that How just fast? I mean, somebody was waiting. That's what I'm thinking. It's I mean, like, it doesn't seem like if it was like somebody that was just after money for drugs or something, they would have done what they were going to do and then bolt, right? They don't usually carry bleach with them. <laughs> you know. And they, yeah. And they don't take their, their, uh, person with them, the purple person they're attacking. No. So it's okay. just so weird. And I feel like, okay, somebody knows him. This is, this was a targeted event. Probably. Hey, just hear me out. Yeah. Um, let's see who else. Hey, show poodles. All right. So I pulled him up on Facebook. Um, this is his Facebook page. He's got it semi private, but this is a picture of him and his partner. They look like twins to me. I swear. Don't they look, don't they look a lot alike? I don't see that. You don't think they look alike? I don't see the page. The oh, page sorry. Page. Sorry. I did it again. Let me stop screen and share screen. I forget you guys aren't on the share screen with me and I got to change it every time. So this is his partner. Wow. Oh, just, just hear me out. Thank you. I appreciate your tip. This sounds like the, the plot from Go Gone Girl. It's just, it's just odd. It's so odd. And so his, I wonder if I can switch pages and if it will take you guys with me, it will not. So let me stop this and go back and switch the page. Is he a defense attorney or? No, he does um, bankruptcies. Uh, Still bank could be uh, someone that got foreclosure. Yeah. It could be a client. It could definitely be a client. Um, okay. Now, I'm just going to play devil's advocate for a moment. I'm not saying that he did anything wrong, but his, his, uh, husband put on here. My husband, the love of my life is missing since Tuesday. I will not st stop until we bring him home. 
And then he said, anyone with information should conduct, contact the Largo Police Department. Hmm. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you have said more? Maybe they're trying to keep it kind of close to the chest until they find out more so they don't give anything up. They yeah, it could know. be. Could be. I mean, this area is not, it's, I used to live not far from here. It's not even, this is like a mobile home park, but this is like one of those mobile home parks in Florida where it's like a bunch, 65 and older and they're all retirees and it's a cute little quaint little park. It's not like it's, it's not like some places where you'd be like drug ridden and all that. It's nothing like that. Yes. So um, this is a very, very high traffic road and in Florida, in that area, in Largo. Um, these are the buildings. See, there's the, that is the interest that she was just standing in front of when she was doing, oh, I did it again. All right, hang on. I, is there, I think that there is a way for me to do my whole screen, but then it, it starts doing like a, it does something funky on me when I do that. All right. So here's the buildings. There's two buildings that sit right next to each other. Mm -hmm. There's a veterinarian over here in this building. And then this is like um, other people in this building. There was a, a, a marketing company. And if you can see their entrance is right down in here. It's kind of, you got to go down in there to end. So that's where the, she was standing when she was doing the news report. So here's the back of the building that faces that mobile home park. And then over on this other side over there is actually Belcher road. Okay. So I was kind of going around. That's not what I wanted. Woof, woof. That's the veterinarian office. Yeah. They just keep pulling it up as the veterinarian office, but I was trying to pull it up. Like Let's see outside. This is what I wanted. Here we go. Can you see outside now? So yep. there's the veterinarian's office, but their office is down here, right here. So there's your FedEx drop. There's the main highway or the, you know, Belcher Road where it's off of. And then their entrance is right down this right here. So the bathroom that they're referring to could have been, could have been accessed from any unit, unit employee within the units. Because, see, they all have their own little thing. Mm. But there's a... There's a back door, like right, well, this looks like a, I bet that's a back door into the building. I know there's another, I know there's another exit, you know, because they got to have two ex exits in here. So, but the question is, is it, was it accessible by only people that worked there in that building? Or could anybody have just come into that? lobby area because it doesn't seem like a it doesn't seem like a lobby area that's like you would go through to get to somebody's office it's more like a, this is a shared common office area that nobody ever sees it you know what i mean it someone could have held the door open for somebody thinking they were employees somewhere else yeah you know. i don't know i just feel like if you're gonna attack if you're gonna okay if you're gonna take somebody you're gonna do it right there yeah. by their desk by where there's a bunch of people working that could hear what's going on it's just so odd it's very strange that's for sure all right so let let me get y'all's take on it let me pull up the let's put his picture up on the screen and i'll take this stuff down And we'll go to this, this, no, nope. this, no, this. All right. So you're still on bot with me, Barbara. Okay. So let's, I want to see what you guys are saying in the chat. Makes me think of X-Files episode where a guy monster could get very thin and gets everywhere and kill. Yeah. <laughs> Your page is in background. When did he disappear? Okay, so the last Tuesday was when he disappeared. He was doing court um, with a client on Friday, and he didn't show up. 
See, you're saying what I'm saying. The husband did it. Check out all the friends on on the on his Facebook. Okay, well, hang on. You know, they've got these Facebooks so private these days, you can't see what people are doing. Yeah, he's got them all hidden. And I'm, I hate to say it, but could there... I don't think in, in the, and then that's another thing too. In that area of Florida, there's a lot of LGBTQ. I mean, it's, it's just highly supported over there. So I, I, it being any kind of hate crime, I just, I highly doubt it. It had to be somebody that knew he was there. Right. And that he would be, well, you, you got to know someone's going to be using the bathroom at a specific time. You don't just want to hang out there with a bottle of bleach all day. You know? I, I know. Well, there could have been bleach already in the bathroom. I mean, there it could have already been there accessible, but. Usually it's locked funny. up. That stuff is locked up, you know? Yeah. He just hear me out says, I think the police have a suspect else. This would have been blanketed as a missing person. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, they are saying he's a missing person. Inside job. I'm thinking too. He's a, <coughs> he's a partner at the law firm. Could it be his partner at the law firm? Yeah. Is that his partner there on the right? Yes. Yes. I think they look like twins. <laughs> Is it just me? No, they, they look alike, but I'm looking at the partner's eyes. And uh, to me, it looks like someone who's got a habit. Really? You don't yeah. think he just has big eyes? No, because it's so shadowy underneath. It's almost like, like they're sunken in. At least to my, my adult old eyes. <laughs> but it looks like the eyes are sunken in and he's not well. Trying to find another photo. All right, let's go to let's go over to his um, husband's page again. Let's see if his friends pop up. Oh, his friends are popping up. But I mean, it's not like, oh, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just like, it wasn't at a bar. It's right there at his office. I don't, I kind of feel like I'm invading this guy's privacy doing this. Um, well, look at this picture of him. You think he's just got, he's just got those kind of eyes that just kind of. No, there's <clears> a whole <throat> difference between the, this face here, he's filled out. His, he doesn't look so thin in the face as he does in the other picture. Yeah. He looks real healthy there. So let's see. I'm reading the chat now. Well, it wasn't a courthouse. It was, that was literally his office building. Charlotte. So, yeah, it's just, it's, I don't know. It just blows, it blew my mind. And I was like, how, 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 how does that happen right there where you work? That's all I wanted to come on and talk about. <laughs> the beard they both wear makes them look like, I guess that's what it is, Charlotte. Yeah. You want to come up? Um, just hear me out. You want to come up? Well, now he's, um, he does like, he's not like a criminal attorney though. He does bankruptcy and, uh, foreclosure defenses, stuff but if, like that. If he really lost a case on somebody that, and they really lost everything, 
it doesn't take much to flip somebody out these days. Yeah, these days there's no telling. Yep. I'm sitting here drinking coffee, you guys. I just I was I couldn't sleep. I was like, I want to get on. I just want to look on this. Okay, you're on your phone. Well, you could just hear me out if you just want to do audio. You could do audio, but that's okay. I understand. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring the bring this up, show you guys, because I thought, you know, the more people talk about it, the better, because they do need help over in Largo, Florida, of locating him. Oh. <laughs> he got lost going to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, literally right there by their. I mean, right there by the desk. That just blows my mind. Yeah, I mean. It's that's so funky, and so you you got to think the police are probably going in and going. Okay, let's account for everybody who's at the office here. Where were you? What did you do? And it looked like a kind of an open area office. Like even if their doors were, people could kind of see people coming and going from that area where that you know that entrance was into the bathroom. Show Poodles thinks it's an inside job. It has to be. I mean. It's too bad they didn't have cameras or something going. You can come, Barbara. Aren't you on a night? Aren't you on a phone? On my iPad. I was on my iPhone last time. Yeah. Yeah, you can, and you just turn your camera off. Kathleen, yeah, camera. Well, apparently there weren't any cameras inside this building. By the way, hey, Kathleen. <laughs> it was in Florida. <laughs> Did they check his suitcase out? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Charlotte, that's funny. That's horrible. Oh, they're horrible. <laughs> I can't take y'all anywhere. <laughs> you can dress us up, but you can't take us out. I, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I just felt like, wow. I just want to talk to y'all about it because it was, it was <laughs> bugging she's me. still in jail, show. <laughs> show Boodle, she's, wait, she's awaiting her trial, which we are hopefully going to be watching part of it. I highly doubt there were no cameras. There's got to be cameras somewhere around there. Okay, so let us let me just do something really quick. Let me go back into where we were looking here. You guys can see the screen. All right, so here's the there's the two buildings, right? Now, just to kind of give you guys an idea, the main highway is over here. To go to Tampa. So mm -hmm. this is the bridge. This is Frank Howard Franklin going over to Tampa. You go south here. You're going to go down into St. Pete. Like towards the Rays um, ballpark. Oh wait. Just show me up. Do you want to be on. You want to put your camera off. Or you want to be on. Well hello. Hi there. Okay, you just need to make sure that you're not echoing, so you got to turn off your... You got it? Uh, I think this you is the first it. time I've ever used this in my iPhone, so it's, it's all backwards. Hey! Hi, how are you? And I forgot your first name. Uh, It's Just. Just? Uh, <laughs> That's funny. And it's, uh, no, it's actually Just of the Family... Bay. <laughs> oh boy. No, it's John. My first name is John. John. Okay. Um, so anyway, go going back to this map, I kind of feel like I should just put the whole thing. Can we put the that's better, isn't it? I'm gonna put my hair down for the street. There we go. All right. So this whole area right here, guys, is just like you know, you go down there, you, you head this way, you're gonna go to Bradenton and Palmetto and Sarasota. So it's like now I lost where the building was that we were looking at. Oh, right here. So it's you know it's it's close to the close to the beach. It's not a bad area. And let's see if we can find some cameras. On buildings. Let's go down here and see if we can so, find any. I mean I got the courtroom part wrong first, right? But here's here's what I'm thinking. If if you're a coworker 
right? The last place you kill somebody, they're Damn. trying to kill. And this is obviously planned because there's bleach involved, right? The right. guy, mm-hmm. unless you got lucky with the janitor closet, right? Uh, the last thing you do is kill your coworker in your office. Right. Instead, you invite them out to drinks. You go to Chili's or something or Applebee's, you know, get the two for 20. You pay cash, make sure that you wear a disguise so nobody sees you. You follow them home later, and then you kill them. I don't know why you would kill them in your office when anyone – I mean, that's that's the first place the police are going to look. Who works here? All right, so you're these? saying – so you're saying that the the um the law partner's out that that puts him out. Okay, good point. I, I'm saying it's, good it's, point. Well, how many? Well, I guess okay. Maybe I'm wrong. How many people work there? Is it just two people? It's a small office. Let me let me pull up one more thing really quick. Well, that kind of changes it because I'm thinking like a firm where that is like forty. No, people. it's it's a smaller little. Um, okay, I had this pull pulled up earlier on Zillow, so let me see if I can do that. But I mean, the, wait, no wait, way wait. the he... guy who called in the missing or the guy who called it in said he missed a uh, court date, right? Yeah, that's... his his yeah, his well that's his gotta be workers... the other guy at the office. All right, I'm gonna screen share the layout of the building for you guys. When I when I read the little uh news blurb, it said that the managing partner called in that he hadn't shown up to a case, right? So, I mean, besides the managing partner, how many people are there? And it was, what, four days? Tuesday, well, Tuesday to Friday? Yeah, from Tuesday to Friday. I mean, that's... If you're the husband, wouldn't you call it in, like... No, the, the, husband, the husband called in to report... Wait a minute, I'm... I swear, I read this. The husband called it in. The husband reported him missing Tuesday. Okay. And uh, it was, I had that stupid Safari browser up. What's his name? St- Stephen Cousy? Yeah. yeah. The husband reported him missing Tuesday morning. But again, that's weird, right? But, okay, so let's say the law firm yeah. didn't know about it till Friday. If if they reported he didn't show up, if you're the husband and he's missing, that's the first place you're gonna call. Work it's the office. Yeah. Like, hey, even if things aren't going good, where's my no no good husband? But I mean, if you work there with him, surely they have an assistant or something that wor- somebody that works there. It it is kind of a small enough office that maybe it's just there. Maybe they don't have anybody full time there, and they just it's just the attorneys that are in there. But she mentioned on that. All right, let's see this layout here. On that report, she ba- mentioned that the employees stated that they they saw him that morning or they saw him that day. The bathroom's the center there, seven and a half or seven by eight or seven eight by ten foot. That's got to be the bathroom area. And where's his office? I'm thinking his office is the one in the bottom right hand corner. But I, I'm not. I don't know that for yeah, sure. That's got to be the managing partner. That's the biggest one, unless the managing partner has the deck up there, or is that a staircase? Nope. There's no staircase. It's it's a it's a single story building. So the little thing up at the top there, that's a little balcony or something. Or like an overhang, maybe? I don't know. A closet of some sort, maybe. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that's the main part of the office. See, there's another page that has another building, but I think that other one is the vet's office. I know it's the vet's office. Yeah, this has got to be the right one. So the only way to get the body out of this office, according to this map, is to take him through his office. Right? I mean... Or... Through somebody else's office. Well, you're not assuming that you're not trying to get caught. You're either going to drag him out through his office, most likely, or you're going to take the riskier option of going up and to the left. But you've got to be passing at least two or three desks at that point. So you just got to drag him through his office. Or. So, wait, when did he disappear? 
Tuesday. He took a break. Tuesday. Let's watch this report again really quick. Yeah, I want to okay, bring that up again. Because I, I thought that she did a really good job of um, reporting this and just kind of getting to the point on it. Where'd she go? Where'd you go, Bankin? I spent the day speaking to business owners nearby. No, here. she did it. Several businesses tell me that they have turned over surveillance. <laughs> it smells like bleach. Surveillance video shows the premises here. There's a door and there and a door there. Perfect nearby. alibi. She's reporting on her own well, crime. Shannon, I understand you got onto this story because this attorney is connected to a Better Call Bank investigation. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, it, Jen, it was a very unusual turn of events for me today. I thought I was covering one Better Call Banking story. I ended up here covering another story. I can tell you that this attorney was representing a subject of a Better Call Banking investigation, but so far it does not appear that there's any connection to Wait, that can you hit pause story a sec? and what happened what, here. Do we know anything about Better Call Banking? Looking to get rid of old electronics, computers, yeah, and hard Yeah, she's drive. good. I've already, I've already vetted her. I'm, she's been around no, for no, quite some No, no, what is Better time. Call Banking? Oh, Better oh, Call oh, Banking. Her is last like name a... is Banking. Is that yeah, their, her like, last name is Is that a Binkin new and... segment? Is that a new segment like uh yeah, like... or something? Okay, got it. I was just making sure it wasn't like a a big national case or something. Okay, you can you no. can resume. Sorry. I No, no, I lost the the video. I don't know where it went. But it's uh, okay, let's just read really quick. It says uh he was last seen on Tuesday. An investigation into his appearance was active and ongoing. They did not provide any further information. They, yeah, the police are being real tight lip on it. Huh. He was miss. He was still missing as of Friday. Okay. No, see, that's different than I heard. Tonight, or I mean, that's different than I read. It was something like detectives say a local attorney. He took a bathroom break, right? Or he left the court. The details are very unsettling. Left somewhere to take a bathroom break. Nearby office building. Maybe that's why I got courthouse. Consumer investigator Shannon Bankin has been covering an ongoing story involving a case the attorney was working on. She is live in Largo with details. Shannon, what can you tell us? Jen Keith, I can tell you that attorney Stephen Causey was supposed to be in a Pasco County courtroom this morning, but Largo police tell me that that didn't happen because he disappeared days ago on Tuesday from work after he left his office to go behind that door to a bathroom. Employees in this office complex on South Belcher Road in Largo are on edge after learning about the extremely disturbing circumstances surrounding the disappearance of attorney Stephen Causey. Police tell me Causey worked here at Blanchard Law. He mainly handled bankruptcy and commercial litigation. Police say he was last seen by employees here on Tuesday morning. Detectives say their investigation into this disappearance is very active, but they declined to provide any further information. I spoke with the managing partner of this firm, Jake Blanchard. He was distraught and said Causey is his best friend and has worked with him for five years. He tells me Causey was last seen going into this bathroom outside their office, and he never returned to the office, leaving his phone, wallet, and car keys on the desk. Multiple employees at this office complex tell me there was blood found in the men's bathroom and the aroma of Ooh. bleach. Largo police spent many hours I, securing I know the setup here, then. You can still see fingerprint dusting residue on the doors residue. the men's bathroom. Looks like they painted it. <laughs> Sandblasted. I, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so... All right, pull up that map again. So we see where, we can see where, where he was then. So he was in. Which one you want the you want that layout the, of the, the building? Yeah, the layout again. So based on assuming that the, um, assuming that the small bathroom here is, I don't the bathroom. Well, no, they can't. Wait a minute. This can't they, be it then. Because there was yeah. a view of the. This is the men's room, right? Yeah. So, okay, well, let's say, let's think about this a sec. So let's say that's maybe the bathroom is, okay, it was, it's, it, it, there's only so many choices here. It could be the one, it could be that one, the one yeah. to the right. Those that are the other two it could be, right? 
Those yeah, because you two. were looking into the bathroom, th into the bathroom door. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But then it looked like it was to the right. So then I was thinking, oh, it's got to be the office on the right there. This might not be the right floor plan. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right floor plan. Cause... Look at this floor plan. But see, I feel like this floor plan, the second one that they have, is it's it looks like it's more for the vet's office. Mm. This would make sense for the vet's office, you know, this floor plan. Yeah. But I could be wrong, but I don't see where there I see where there would be like a community kitchen or something right there. But Unless you got to be able to see in from that the front entrance to that door. Well, actually, you know what? That first that first ground ground uh, or that first uh, layout. Actually, that makes sense for a vet office. The first office that was big on the left on the right side on the bottom had a entrance and then an entrance into the back, which you would expect with a waiting area. Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't know. This doesn't look like it has an obvious waiting area. Right. Yeah, that's true. So let's say this is the, let's say this is the office. Then the bathroom has to be either the top right corner, right, top right, or the middle right. But I don't know why you would have an exit out of a bathroom on both sides so that doesn't make sense yeah. well anyway okay so they said he I was had pictures he was in the meeting and then he went to the bathroom and never came back right so he was yeah he was in the he was in the office went to that i call it what do you call it a common use bathroom it's got to be the husband why else, who else is going to murder somebody what, during a meeting right Right. How, if if you're in a meeting, I, I I don't know what you guys do professionally, but if I'm in a meeting with somebody and they don't come back, I'm talking maybe ten minutes, fifteen minutes tops to be like, where is that dude? Right. Yeah. How, how are you going to get the body out with no one seeing you within fifteen minutes and clean it all up because there was no blood visible? Right. Yeah. Makes me feel like the bleach was. I don't know. It's got to be the husband. Kathleen. I, or it's a gone his, girl. <laughs> Kathleen, his cell phone was left on his desk along with his keys and his wallet. I'm not assuming he's, I'm not assuming he's, he's unalived. Uh, um, just is, but I'm not. I'm just saying, I just think it's so, I mean, for all we know, it could have been a speck of blood. It might not have been a lot of blood they found, you know? You know how the media is. Well, bleach, you, you, you do a drop of bleach and the entire thing smells like a crime scene, right? So, yeah, a small, uh, if you have, like, especially if it's this little small bathroom like that. Right. And they could have cleaned the night before. The people could have been in there cleaning. Right. Bleach doesn't necessarily mean anything was cleaned up, right? You just, wait, yeah. but they found, they found his DNA or they found blood. They said blood. Whoa. Who leaves their phone to go to the bathroom? Charlotte, you never leave your, your phone? If I'm in the if okay, if I'm in the office no. and I go to the bathroom, I'm not taking my phone with me. I'll leave it. I'm on my taking desk. my phone because that's all I'm gonna do in the bathroom is look at my phone. Yeah. I gotta, I'm, I gotta kill time somehow. I'm in and out, you know. So I was thinking the same you would Does a, it, they, their office oh, was in unit two B. Yeah. Two B? Two B. But that map doesn't have any of that on then there. That's, that's got to be second floor. But I mean, she was on the ground floor. There's not a there's not a second floor to this building. I already checked. Yeah, it doesn't look like a second floor. So I'm thinking. I mean, it just it's just. I mean, could it have been somebody, some crazy person, just wandered in off the street into that building? Yeah, but they would have had to have access into the building somehow or another and somebody could have i mean let's say let's just say that they didn't have somebody full time let's say it happened at lunchtime by chance and then they 
so some though he was the only one in the office and he goes in there to go to the bathroom no, somebody comes in through that in, entrance he was in the middle of a meeting it didn't say that where did you read that they said he was in a meeting and he didn't come back right well they said they he was said, at his, he was at his desk i thought they said he was at his desk i thought it said he was in a meeting and he left to go to the bathroom and he didn't return from the bathroom meaning it had to have been another door he went through to go to the bathroom because then you know you're gonna see somebody coming out right so yeah so that just i mean it just blows my mind and i guess because that i'm just so familiar with that area it just makes me wouldn't you familiar wouldn't he have with made florida? A you're yeah yeah you know what charlotte wouldn't he have yelled if that was yeah exactly would somebody have heard him screaming if somebody had attacked him or something right it doesn't add up it's very very strange very strange and it looks like his Facebook is private, so you can't really see what he's been posting. Oh, I did want to go to his father's Facebook, though. Let me see if I can find that, because I saw... I saw a picture somewhere that had his dad's name on it. Let me see if I can find it. No, I'm back to the original theory. It's got to be the husband. If you So if you were going to state... Okay, so you got no... You've got nothing that presents as a crime scene in terms of how it would appear to be somebody who's there, right? And there were definitely people there. You would hear something, you would hear a scream, you hear a commotion, et cetera, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. But you've got the stuff that would imply a crime scene and a cover up, blood and bleach, right? Uh -huh. So you've got to get this person out of the office willingly without them making any sound and i don't know who could do that besides the husband or maybe the managing partner then you got to set up the scene in the bathroom and the only reason to set up the scene in the bathroom is to cast suspicion on this being the place where something happened and if i work there i'm not sitting i'm not it's better for me if i'm the managing partner that he just went to the bathroom and then he disappeared, right? There was nothing. There's nothing in the bathroom. There's no blood, yep. there's no bleach or anything, right? Yeah. It's got to be the husband. And you know what else? Here's another thing too. Usually, when someone he goes missing, don't they put out like he was like he was wearing this when he was last seen? Right. They haven't said anything about what he was wearing. And so I look back at this where the 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 his. Uh, here, I'll screen share it. Why? Yeah, why hasn't the husband done a Chris Watts interview yet? <laughs> he could have. I don't know. Maybe it hasn't been long enough. Where's Geraldo? I, I just want to see the. I just want those. I just want those girls to be okay. So the husband anything says, it, "If anyone did anything to those kids, my husband, the love of my life, is missing since Tuesday. I will not stop until we bring him home." Anyone with information should contact Largo to Police Department. Right. And then the mother reposts that and says, please help find my son pictured with blue sweater. If you have any family or friends in the Largo Clearwater area, okay, please that's, share these That's pictures. the biggest red flag. Wait, wait, wait. Go down. That's the that that's the entirety of the husband's post? That's what I'm saying. That's exactly. The husband did it. If my wife disappeared, right? You would be begging and pleading. Would, no, no. Not necessarily begging or pleading. I wouldn't say they disappeared on Tuesday. I would say, look, they were at work. And the off uh, the coworkers knew they were there through 2 p.m. And then they couldn't find them. So anyone in this area, and I would give the address. This is where they work. right? If anyone saw anything in this area or have seen anyone. Here's, here's a picture of my wife, right? They got the picture, right? But they were last seen Tuesday at 2 p.m. at this address, right? Yeah. This, this is the last place they were seen. If anyone has any information, because peop, you want to get information from people that don't know what they may have seen, right? You want to get, oh, you know, I, well, I was there. I saw two men get into a car, right? The only reason, the only way you get that information is if you provide an address and a time. The husband did it. 
They weren't. And you know what? Yeah. And he wasn't really technically reported missing until after he didn't show up for a court hearing on Friday. So if it's, if he didn't come home to, uh, so uh, they, I, I read yeah, that the husband reported Tuesday. him missing Tuesday. I don't know where mm-hmm. I read that, but I read that earlier. All right. So let me go here to. It was, but it wasn't like it. instantaneous, right? So I mean, it was, it was yeah. It was, it was some. It was. A, it was a news website. Oh! Oh! Look! 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 Are you? Can y'all see this? Oh! Look at that mess. Okay, you can see it. All right. Let me. Let me blow this up real quick. Where'd they get these pictures from? So Who's here's the right bathroom. Here? That is tacky, first of all. That decor is tacky. Okay, well, let's go. It's covered in fingerprint. It's covered in fingerprint. Oh, it's white. Okay, I'm sorry. It's white. I thought it was marble. How much fingerprint stuff did they use? Well, let me tell you a story. So I had a theft at one of my stores that I managed when I was doing retail, right? It was a cell phone theft. And the police came in to dust the live demo area of the cell phones. And the thing just went like black like midnight. Because there were fingerprints everywhere. And they're like, we can't get into prints. And then we're like, well, thanks for putting fingerprint dust all over this publicly touched. I mean, it was like, yeah, it was like putting fingerprint dust on a subway door. Not like Hollywood, huh? (laughs) Yeah. Like, let me get my makeup brush. Hold on. (laughs) Yeah. So they're called, it's a, so it's a communal bathroom. Yeah. I don't even know why they, well, I mean, I, I know why they dust, but, they're not going to get actually you know what they this this proves there's no cleanup right because you get cases yeah you get cases where there's no fingerprints right but there's there's like no fingerprints on anything right so somebody cleaned up everything and they forgot okay well actually i need my victim to have his fingerprints here because they're here so how did they get in the bathroom or did they do nothing? They didn't touch anything. Right. So there's yeah. been no cleanup. Um, yeah, the husband did it. It's sad to say, but the husband did it. I, yeah, I don't know how you make that post. My that's, that's the post you make when somebody's sick, right? My husband just got diagnosed with cancer. Please pray for him. Right, you don't need a specific like what kind of cancer, when the cancer was diagnosed, where it was diagnosed, anything like that. It's just he has cancer, pray for him. Right, that's the same kind of post he made there. My husband went miss is missing Tuesday. If you have any information, well, what do you mean any information? Oh, it's fixing to bring up Dagum advertisement. See the toilet area. Good lord. Yeah, they they. Douse the heck out of that. It's like somebody blessed it and then cleaned it up. So it says, all right, let's, let's, let me read this really quick. So let's get, let's get, let's see what they're saying. Cause this is Fox and that other one was, um, I think ABC. So Largo police say they are, there are suspicious circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Stephen Cozy. Uh, he was last seen Tuesday, March 21st. Police alerted the media that he was missing Friday, March 23rd. So the media was alerted on Friday. Okay, that's weird. But okay, you wait four days to let everybody know you're looking for somebody. Be on the lookout. Um, LA right. That, Largo- oh, that's, yeah, that's where I got my suspicion earlier that the police, the police have some. But it says Largo PD has been tight-lipped about the nature of his disappearance and did not release where he was last seen or a physical description. So they're kind of that doesn't sound right. They don't he think was he's last missing. seen at his workplace. Coworker was searching for Cozy but never located him. Oh look, a coworker was searching for him but never located him. Meanwhile, employees in businesses near the law firm where Cozy works said the bu- the building was filled with detectives and police Tuesday after he went missing. Tuesday. Right. After the meeting, right? Because they were in a meeting. He didn't come back. They're like, dude, where the fuck is he? Sorry, don't mean to curse. Apparently, fingerprints, dusted residue still cover the door of the bathroom. Has been pleased for information. And that's it. That's all we got. 
Yeah, he just pleaded for information. He didn't give any information though. If, do you guys ever watch um, the uh, what are they called? The body language experts or the body? La- oh yeah, behavioral the, panel. Yeah, the with the four guys. Yeah. yeah, behavioral panel. Right. I mean, beyond their, you know, observations of like facial stuff, they they provide just basic common sense, like okay this is a phantom perpetrator, right? There's no information given on who, who they saw. And there's no, they're like casting as wide of a net. Like, Oh, I, you know, I saw a suspicious guy over by the dumpster the other four weeks ago. And like, there's no concrete information, the vanishing perpetrator. This is the vanishing victim. There's, there's no information given. As to, he was wearing this when he was last seen. This is the address where he was last right. seen. This is what he was yeah. wearing. This is where he was. And the husband can say, well, because the husband's mind, he's thinking, oh, well, this is all reported in the news story, right? But that's not how a rational person thinks. And you're not rational when your person disappears and you're, like, worried about them, right? You say, this yeah. is where they were. This is what they were wearing. This is what they look like. Okay, you think it's a husband. I think it's a client. What do you think, Barb? I'm baffled. I mean, uh, who? How, I'm just thinking, how do they get him out of the building? Without, Without anybody, anybody seeing. Him. Yep. So maybe that's the, maybe that's why they're husband like. Husband could have got somebody. him out. No, but think about it. He'd have to go through one of those doors. Not if it's. If his office, office is at the front, like in that diagram, it is an entrance and then entrance into the hallway. Yeah, but what if there were co-workers that could see right there? They could see people coming and going. Or wouldn't he get his wallet if it was the husband, wife, whatever? Okay, yeah, it's either the it husband was... or he vanished on his own. Because you think it was because you think if it was like somebody that knew him, they would have said, well, I'm going to grab his his uh, I might need to leave his cell phone because I don't want to be traced, but I'm going to grab the wallet and the keys because I want to make it look like he's left the, the office. Well, yeah, that he's smart. He's so smarter good. than Chris Watts, but. All right. Well, we're going to stay on top of this. You guys, I want to know what happened. If, it, if they come back and give us some blah, blah, blah answer. I'm going to be like, what? Um, yeah. I mean, I, unfortunately, I, it sounds like he's, it doesn't sound good. No. I would say, but. He may, I wonder if he's being held ransom and they've already gotten a ransom letter and everything else. That could be the case. But then they wouldn't get the media in on it. Yeah. And I don't know that I, if, I don't know that I would post that as my if my spouse was if i was cooperating with ransom yeah i wouldn't say anything if i wasn't cooperating i'd say my husband is being held for ransom Hmm. yeah right but i was just surprised i think even the mother didn't really do a whole lot of um on her post either though you know i just i don't know i just maybe the the guy's just a jerk and nobody misses him (laughs) yeah i was thinking the same thing (laughs) that's horrible He's gone, like, right? yeah, I mean, he disappeared. <laughs> and I hope he comes back. <laughs> no, nah. there's something not right. All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna revisit this at another night when um it's not so late. But I appreciate you guys coming on. I can I ask a quick question? Sure. So if, I don't know if you noticed my name on here versus my channel name. So just hear I'm me now. Get an honest opinion. <laughs> Which one do people prefer? Because my thought originally was I had Dexter the cat as my mascot. So oh, just hear me out. When you say yeah. it, it's me out versus I like spelling that. it me out. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that. But okay, you know maybe you can I'll put, change it then. But you know you can put the um, the space in between the words on your... Yeah, I just didn't want to do that. <laughs> so I tried to find you on Twitter and I couldn't find you. No, I, I did just hear me outs with a Z at the end. I know. I couldn't find it. Well, I don't have any. I just created it to send it to you. So I, oh, I don't okay. know that I'm very follow followable. Okay. All right. My channel that I, I just changed the name of my channel because it was my personal channel. I didn't mean for people to start viewing it. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. Let me ask you this. So you had said you do it. You've researched a lot of sovereign stuff. Yeah. Sovereign citizen stuff. Okay. So you yeah. and I are going to talk about that one night then. Yep. Try Van Balian. Right. Uh, he does some great sovereign stuff. Yeah. I watched all his stuff. Funny as yep. all get out. Well, I can't see. We have to be careful about streaming other people's stuff because you get dinged and they'll, yeah. they'll give you a copyright strike and everything else. And I, especially if it's a smaller YouTube channel, I'm really He's funny already, about that. He's already. Um, no, no, no. She means her stuff. channel. Yeah. So ask him. I'm sure Van Billion be cool. So. But but John like, has already done a lot of research, and I was going to let him yeah, talk I'm more a little bit. More interested in their in their motivations, right? So like. My like opinion read, is is they're trying to get as much for nothing as they can without going to jail. <laughs> and they push yeah, it. But, but that doesn't make sense because the, doing they what want, they're doing is sending them directly to jail. But they want the they want the welfare, they want all the all the good stuff, but they don't want to have to pay for anything. Yeah, I think it's we'll take I, everything you can give us, government. But we don't want to know you. Yeah, I read a lot of I read a lot of books on it, and I There's think I've Moors. come up with I'm trying, yeah. I've I'm trying to come up with a diagram, cool. a Venn diagram of how the people fit into there. So yeah, we, we got to do a check. Maybe we could do it this weekend. I don't know. You just um, let me my, know. I I gave you my cell phone number in the thing, right? I mean, you know, yeah, you did. Um, but let don't me worry, know I'm not going to blow you up if you text me. Not... No, I know. I just let me know um, when when's a good time for you because my schedule is not is more probably more flexible than yours is. Hey, Steve. Steve, you're going to have to go back and watch what we just talked about because this one you're going to love. This Steve, see, Steve likes this kind of Steve stuff. did it. Steve is a, he he is a problem solver. He's like us. He likes to d dive in and ever see since what... Steve got second runner up in that Gerber competition, he's like, screw lawyers. I'm gonna find one someday. I'm gonna make them disappear. <laughs> hey, you know what? Is he was he serious when he said that? I don't know. Oh, I wasn't serious when I responded to him saying I was third runner up. I know. I could tell you were kidding, but I couldn't tell if he was kidding. <laughs> Steve says he gave us the thumbs up like, yeah, I was serious. <laughs> yeah, you're going to like this one, Steve, because it's a you got a problem solve on it. And then uh, you can just put your you comments in the chat. Make your own determination, though, before you hear our determinations. Yeah, I think it's either I think it's either a client or someone just some random, crazy drug addict, probably. Well, you can't tell um, them your determination before he re reviews the video. Now you just poison the well. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. He he's he he always has a, a different view too. So Barbara got knocked off. Hey Barbara, thanks for coming up. I'm gonna yeah, go ahead and close it out here, y'all. I'm gonna go and close it out because I don't All like right. to stay on too long. So thank you, Jess, for just being on and uh we'll talk soon. All right. Thanks everybody. We'll keep you updated on this case.